In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a model of a pawn chess piece. In the first part of the tutorial, I'll show you how to make a relatively low poly count, low number of faces model. In the second part of the tutorial, I'll show you how to add the subdivision surface modifier to make a much higher poly count, much higher number of faces model, but a smoother, more rounded model. To set up a background image, click the plus to open up the property side panel, scroll down, click the black triangle next to background images, tick background images, click add image, click open, go to the folder where your image file is, select the image file, open image. You must be in an orthogonal view, toggle perspective to orthogonal, one of the standard views, I'm going to select front, and there's our image of our chess pieces. I'm going to zoom in using the mouse wheel. I'm going to size and position the background image ready for modeling. If I drag on the X value, I can move the image to the right. If I drag on the size, I can make the image bigger. If I drag on the Y value, I can move the image down. Now, I'm going to change the viewport shading to wireframe so I can see through the cube. And I'm going to fine tune by clicking the arrow keys. I'm going to zoom in using the mouse wheel and pan down holding down shift and middle mouse. Most important is that the pawn is centered about the X axis so that the Z or Z axis cuts it in half. I've experimented with values and a value of 12.1 for size, 7.1 for X position of the image and minus 2.5 for the Y position centers the image and also makes it the same width as the, as the cube, one blender unit wide. With the cube selected, click the delete button, add mesh cylinder, change cap fill type from Ngon to triangle fan, now the top of the cylinder, instead of having a single face, will have multiple triangular faces. Press S to scale followed by Z for the Z direction and shrink that down. Drag on the tip of the blue arrow to move that down. I'm going to work with two 3D windows, so I'm going to close this side panel and I'm dragging on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window. I'm going to close this side panel and change the view to perspective. I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to hide these pull down menus. I'm going to go into solid in this window and face select mode. Select a face and then press B on the keyboard and B select to select all the top faces. Zooming in a little with the mouse wheel. I'm going to press E to extrude and extrude upwards and I'm going to press S to scale and scale inwards. I press E to extrude followed by S to scale. E to extrude followed by S to scale. And so it goes on E to extrude S to scale as we go up the pawn, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. Where you have a curved bit, E to extrude. Where the curve is most, don't extrude so far, S to scale where the curvature is less, E to extrude, you can go a little bit further, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, 
and S to scale E to extrude and S to scale there's a bit of a curve here so I'm going to do it in two extrudes E to extrude and S to scale now I'm going to add mesh UV sphere for the sphere at the top I'm going to press S to scale shrink it down and I'm going to use the tip of the blue arrow to move it up and then I'm going to do S to scale I'm going to end the tutorial there we've got a nice low polygon count model of a pawn ideal for use with something like the Blender Game Engine. You can change the shading to smooth and you can add a nice material and texture. But if you want a high polygon count model, uh, we'll do that by adding the subdivision surface modifier and I'll show you how to do that in part two.